patient access to the drug, you know, has certainly been an issue. Um, it seems that, uh, you know, there is, they are limiting access to patients who have more severe liver disease. And in fact, there was one individual who uh, I know very well who uh, <clears throat> became aware that she was infected with the hepatitis C virus unexpectedly just based on a, um, a uh, uh, routine uh, liver test based on, you know, just getting a, um, a routine uh, physical exam. Uh, woman in her mid 40s uh, and she was devastated by the fact that she had this disease she didn't know where she had gotten it from and and realized that she ultimately got it th you know from complications as a result of childbirth that she uh, had uh, birth or child you know 27 years earlier and uh, what um, but she was very grateful that she knew that there was a cure out there and that she was going to access the cure and, and within eight to 12 weeks, she would have been cured. Uh, when she went to her doctor, her hepatologist, um, and uh, um, was, uh, you know, processed for being, uh, uh, getting a prescription for um, sulfosfever-based regimens, um, she was denied by her insurance company. And the reason why she was denied was that because she uh, um, did not have a, uh, severe enough liver damage to her, um, to her liver. So um, she was completely devastated by that news. Um, and it, it, um, she became very, you know, um, let's say upset uh, and did not know what to do. And uh, ultimately, you know, uh, we were able to resolve that issue for her. But, you know, I'm sure there are many, many patients out there like her um, to know they have the disease, know that the disease is going to do severe damage to their liver or ultimately give them um, uh, liver cancer, but at this point in time are not able to access the drug because of certain uh, guidelines that exist out there with regard to access to treatment. So, uh, you know, my view is there should not be any limited access to treatment. That patients who identif are identified with hepatitis C infection should have access to the drugs they need to cure their disease as soon as possible. This will limit any downstream uh, liver damage and potentially liver cancer that they might get. And also uh, what are now becoming, people becoming aware of other comorbidities that exist when you have hepatitis C. So, um, you know, my position is that limited access uh, does not do the patient any good and ultimately uh, will lead to uh, other uh, occurrence of uh, medical cost associated with other aspects of the disease.